How's it going, everybody? Heartbreaker here, represent Six Ring Gaming. Mind him out. Back here, and we're going to go after. Yeah, I'm literally choosing to go after the boss that I fucking despise because they're going to give me a shiny shoe. It's not literally a shoe, but it's shiny and shoe goes with shiny. Not really. Shut up. Okay, so we're going to go through here, and the only problem with these bastards is. <laughs> Oh, it's a full fucking complex. Oh, where, where did you learn to speak English? It's Markiplier's house. What? Shiny shoe. That exploded. I shouldn't have done that. Oh fuck, she's still alive. Oh, come on. I don't mean your boot. That gladdy boot. Oh, come on! You dirty bastard. What are you doing? Fuck off, I'm having it. I actually can suffer. Does she only ever have half health? Are you are fucking What? Um, are you kidding me? Yeah, what, what, what seems to be going here is it's got a big fucking thing ah. in its skull and you weren't hitting it. Because it's been cheating me. And oh, Jesus is the speedy red market. <laughs> Fuck you, high velocity. Oh, Fox. Pass out. And there you go. She's still alive. Uh, she's still If they don't disintegrate, they ain't dead. That's a rule to live by. Oof. No. Now you see, all the sound has calmed the fuck down. Because so you something know. else is going to happen. Oh, well, that guy up there. Ah, but, so you still fucking... but because I've literally just tanned all my shotgun ammo. Yeah, I might have made a move. Oh, there's a bad. Oh, oh, Gives to me things, please. Oh, you just you just noticed that I was I was I was up there. There's one thing on me. Catch it. Not quite. All right. Uh, Alright. There's a white thing. Fucking manging. You dirty bust. Hello! You got balls of steel? Fucking taking shot. Shooting in the balls. Oh shit, how many balls is fucking taking it? He was shot on the balls. Why don't you take it? I don't think the females have balls. Some do. I like Miss Williams. What the fuck? It, what's that Venus Williams? Oh my god. This is going to start showing your pervy side, isn't it? No. What's, who's Venus Williams? Venus and Serena Williams. Oh, the tennis players? Yes. You don't fucking know. <laughs> I, I still don't get it. I think it was a, I think it was a blanket ball joke. Was it she had balls? Like, it was like the Williams sisters have brought something new to the women's game. Male genitalia. <laughs> sounds like Frankie Boyle. Nah, right, sounds about right. Oh man. I thought you'd have been knowing that one. I, 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 I usually don't follow sports, I, 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 I never follow sports, but the fact that, so that joke just sort of slipped by me, but that's what, unless, that's why a lot of comedic stuff I don't quite like. Because the topic is something. Because the topic yeah. is something that I'm totally unfamiliar with, so people are laughing, I was like, huh, what? I, I should know it, I should, I should clearly know it, but then I don't. <laughs> like, don't know if everyone was, fuck. was uh, oh dear. Uh, you are fuck ugly, young Again, that, that was, that was one of the earlier seasons. Uh, There's two. Jesus. It was one of the earlier seasons. He gets seasons, seasons for what? Of, of no. Of, of, of Mock the Week. Uh, and David Mitchell's on it. And it was the scenes we'd like to see. It was on like the thing to get it in the And it, David Mitchell says, in the Grinch's game, why does the pretty one always lose to the moose? Ah! Fuck! Fucking sh... <laughs> How did they get behind me? You have no head anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh. I didn't actually mean that, mate. I meant to. Well, well, you fucked up somewhere. See, I learned. I'm not going to tan on my shotgun. I'm straight away. That's enough. Must not be joking. I was. I was trying to think of the ending when you said no. Something about to get decapitated. I was going to get my head on half the table. That's what I was thinking of. I like that guy who got on me. I was like, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Ah! 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 That was fucking cool. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh no, I've run out of my feet. This woman is not a virgin. They can tell that? Oh god, I love Facebook. It's like the warrior guys like in their warrior training and they're just standing on those powers like for ages. He's fucking just bald. He's bald. And he's like, they're good. With my help, they could be the best. <sighs> I bet it's the fact that they're standing up there, he's fucking spitballing them and then gives it to, the, gives it to the woman and she's like fucking belting them. Oh, she should have took the opportunity to do it again now. God damn it, I ruined it! I ruined it! Oh, <laughs> oh no, I ruined it. 
fucking up up the wounded. I'm so sorry, liver wounded. Is it my dog? Is it probably like you said? Shite. There's an actor called Mark Williams. You might not know the name, but like if you've seen Harry Potter, he's, he's Rogers' dad. Uh, Aye, I know who it is. He hosted, he hosted like a game show on the STV or something like that. I've no idea what it's about, but my brother just talking about like, uh, like with him sort of messing things up, like messing things up with cue cards or spilling water on stuff or missing his cue and stuff like that for games to do the mic on. Just messing things up like that. And I'm just always saying, oh, no, really? That's, 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 that's what you want the gimmick to be. Oh, I've really ruined it. Oh, I've ruined it. That's, that's his voice. Oh, no, I've ruined it. That sounds a little bit more Beatles than him, or just by, just by a little bit. This is that the, the, the bit of the Beatles and family guy that was floating through psychedelic space. And he's like, falls out. Uh, you know what I mean to know, like, one legged chicks. Uh, uh, they'll try to give up what, what a name. Oh, I've got some name, eh? Was it, was it, was it, was it, name? Peggy? Yeah, that's, uh, that's enough of that now. Uh, Ringo's like, what about Eileen? Oh, Ringo, got it. <laughs> Actually, never you lad. Right, I'm going to preemptively kick this lad because that's how they got they got me last time. I done jumped out and they came up behind me and like, shot me in the face. And, and well, games, cut my head straight clean. Like, Fucking off. And games like Friends of Persia and Assassin's Creed, like if you're doing like kind of climbing missions and then like stuff falls to make like a sort of convenient return point, should you, should you fall and have to get back up. And like it's so racist that says that and Assassin's Creed is like, oh, it's like. Ah, uh, good. I'm supposed to get up in my phone. Or so it's like a sort of fourth wall. It's like, it's like, not even like a fourth wall break. It's like, it's like you know, you saw it happen. He's just sort of confirming it. But it's like, yeah, well, you know, I knew that. I knew that, but I, I could tell you seeing the ladder fall down and against the wall that had the different rendering. So I like, think that something was going to be there at some point, so like I knew. I definitely put two and two together at the tour at this point. I'm just like, ah, I'm convenient for it if I thought. Yeah, I said so. Because you focus on not falling. Let me worry about the rest. Aye, it's like, yes, it's like, that's true, but you can always not fall as well. Let's that's see, also an option. Like, Assassin's Creed and Uncharted are the weird thing for me in that I don't, I don't think, or I did that. Like, when I'm climbing and I'm fine, just like, alright, 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 so we'll keep, keep it together now, or, and I got in fight with the ring, and I was like, break, get the cover, even though it's clearly me, fucking making a fool of myself with the controller. But you blame the fucking, the character of the AI. The absolute crap. Like, Break your prick! Even though it's clearly my fault. Hey, I could be taking advantage of this right now. He's, I keep talking him about. No. Uh, I won! Is that where the music stopped? Yeah. If I were that a murdered in gold blood tomorrow, would you feel so sure love would not matter? You'll never be the leader of the battle, then you should be the feet out from Seesaw Battle. Oh, I got a route, I got a route better than you can. There's too much on my plate. I don't think you can find this game to turn you on. I can't say what I got to say. I have no idea what you're talking about. What are you doing? I can't remember. It was just uh, a song called When the Music Stops. That's the first uh, verse. I can't remember most of it. It's like one of those songs that if I have it. There really is a situational song for everything like, like if I have my headphones in. Uh, if I had it on my headphones or something, I'd be able to go along with it easy. And that's because you've got songs. Yeah, that like, you're like, oh yeah, I know this, but when it comes down to it, you're like, oh shit, wait. I don't that? know shit. <laughs> uh, oh, is that? My, oh, oh is it, is, I, I saw that dip. Space balls where they're combing the beach, but I, I can't remember what it was in relation to. It might have been a sick thing, like combing the beach. I can't remember what it was in relation to, but the bit from Space Balls, I, I saw a gif of it, it was a bit from Space Balls where they're, they're out in the beach searching for like the wreckage of a ship or something like that, and they've got like little big, huge combs, like hair combs. <laughs> they can see oh, the beach. Yeah. like, nothing at all. Are we being too literal? Oh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. And it's two, it's two uh, black stormtroopers or whatever they're called in, in, in space balls. And they've got, it's not a comb, it's like a big afro pick. And the guy just takes the visor off, he's like, We ain't found shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I love space balls. Oh, I, love, I love all that. See that sort of comedy where it's like, oh, books. Aye, they just take it literal. Yeah. And, and, and it's like, but they're so stone faced serious about it. I don't know why, every time. Oh, there's the other gem there. Fucking airplane. 
Oh, you're playing class. That was what you showed me. That was fucking hilarious. That was hilarious. Looks like I picked the wrong way to quit amphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't a nice thing he said that. I, I, everything. Oh, looks like I picked the wrong day to quit smoking. Looks like I picked the wrong week to give up drinking. Looks like I picked the wrong week to give up <laughs> methamphetamines. Looks like I picked the wrong week to give up sniffing glue. <laughs> so look, by the end of the night, he's fucking hanging upside down in the radio control tower. <laughs> fucking jumping out the window. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> Oh shit, I should. Oh. Me, bitch! And the autopilot that's just an inflatable that sits at the wheel. Oh yeah, it's and like to, a fucking... And to inflate it, you had to inflate it. So, like, she. Blow it to pieces! To the steward, this is on, its, on the earpiece, which is down in the crotch area. And she's like, <laughs> blowing air into it to, to get it to inflate again. The thing literally starts smiling again. <laughs> like it was like, not doing it. Oh, when, it, when it's going down, it's deflating, it can't autopilot the plane anymore. And she starts <laughs> blowing away to it, and the thing's just like. Oh my fucking Christ. It plays a class movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. Um, Same with Spaceballs, fucking Men and Tights, Robin Hood Men and Tights, Dracula Dead Love in it. Producers. I can't, I can't really name it, but it was some film, but it was again sort of similar. Uh, it was like. Um, oh, Boys and Sandals, that one. But like this other one, I've got like, some of my cast members to Boys and Sandals, which is a good uh, Bob Eloise and stuff, and they were in, it was like a big sort of haunted house kind of thing. Yeah. But like, uh, but like, it was a sort of like a radio play as well or something like that, I can't fully remember the public extent of the plot for getting too much away, but it was such a fun movie, I can't remember the movie, but I saw it in my dad's house one day, just, I just shut up myself, I was pissing myself off. I wasn't even that long ago. What do you mean, where am I going? Is that Ashley talking to you? Is she still in the bin? No, she got out of the bin, I just don't know where she is. Shut your hole, you boot! I'm trying to, you know, give us a better chance of survival. By killing all that enemy first. Oh, denied. Get booted! Denied! That what's was fucking what's intense! What's the shiny thing? Would that, would that be Pesetas? Pesetas? That, um, that's a, that's a, that's an object at a campsite. Fucking intense. Aha! 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 Ow! I was like, you were just a shark from Toy Story there. No, I know you were Woody. Two of the shark from Toy Story. Aha! Aha! Hey, I'm Woody! Howdy, howdy, howdy! Aha! Aha! Where is this? Oh, fuck it! You useless cow! There's a ladder right there and I had to catch you, you fucking boot! You deserve to be kidnapped and molested by whatever the fuck parasites in your chest! Fucking hell. I'm glad you had. I'm glad you added the. Parasites. Yeah. They can see if you just ended that, you deserve to be kidnapped and molested. I'm gonna have serious words with you. If you didn't add on that one wee bit at the end there. It's the bit of Frankie Boyle jokes that just came out of my head when oh, we McCann should. Oh my god. Was I that, didn't do it! Oh my god, what was that joke? It was a uh, new Renault McCann, so 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 spacious you won't notice the kids in the back. Ah. I was like, oh you should you should definitely play um cards against with me and my cousins. Oh, because oh, shit gets real. Or it gets ludicrous. Yeah. Gerard's bloody good at it as well. I can imagine. Like. Off all you are a bunch of dirty. Gerard is my, my friend I've met many a year. Uh, Through high school and, and primary. And he is on a channel you should check out on YouTube called Squadcast Season Pass. Uh, check those guys out. Their schedule's a bit kind erratic. of erratic. Like they've not updated them well, but that's down to them all being busy with Unibox, so it really just depends when they're free. What's this? Underestimated the uh, 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 Okay. Had they, the not been, had they not been drinking, I would have tried to read that whole thing in the voice of Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> and for, it was just the other day, I was, I, I, fact, it was today, I was laughing again at the fact that it was like a. What was it? It was like. What, what, it was like a. Spill water. Uh, 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 oh, it was, was onomatopoeia. <laughs> that was what the I word don't... is onomatopoeia. Uh, 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 <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> I saw a picture of him fucking late at his house. I'm going to assume there's a series of them that's just different movies with Mike Tyson as the main role. Uh, so this one was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But the way it was written out was Mike Tyson in the text of Chainsaw Massacre. Inspired by Pro Life Event. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope to God there's a series of them. I didn't see that. That sounds amazing. That sounds like the greatest thing ever. He sounds fantastic. Saving Private Tyson. <laughs> see that? Wait. Imagine saving Private Ryan, but with Mike Tyson as Private Ryan. So they just change it to Private Tyson. So it would then become Saving Private Tyson. I don't know how you feel about that. <laughs> we have never seen the movie, but I know oh, you like it. So. Oh, I just think it would be really funny because instead of 
Picking Matt Damon crying like a bit, a little bitch huddled up in this pure slow motion Mike shot. Tyson. It'll be Mike Ty- Tyson just standing there like punching the bullets back to the Germans. <laughs> Mike Tyson never cried like a bitch. You got his Fritz. You got his. As you got his Fritz, I'm gonna bite them off. <laughs> I'm gonna bite them off for your Fritz. In fact, there's a there's a fight. Shit. There was a fight scene in. There's a. F- <laughs> what are you doing? There's a fight scene in. These bastards fucking. Bye bye. <laughs> look at her. She just put her. Look, she's like, look at look at Ashley's hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the I think the Quagmire cosplayer I think the Quagmire cosplayer is going to um, MCM again this year. There's a Quagmire cosplayer? Yeah, there's a guy cosplays as Quagmire who made the face out of paper mache. It looks fucking creepy. I can like, imagine. He wears, all the, he wears like clothes and stuff like that. He's got like a drain pipe figure anyway, so... No, I'm not even... I know, I just remember a few years back when like everybody said giggity. After like... Giggity, giggity, oh right, giggity. Giggity. You're going to this. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> You just make a joke there, Bobby. <laughs> Good, Good one. one. Yeah, no, that's that's. Oh, the, I don't stand on how we miss you. I, st- I still like some easier stuff, but not anywhere near the fucking oh, water boy. It's nowhere near the was point. pinnacle it's shit. Easy, you know, yeah. But no, I was watching Dennis Lady again, and oh, that yeah. was his voice for people with a voice box. So it was like, uh, imagine, uh, imagine an entire family with voice boxes. Oh hey, Dad, can we go to the beach? Yeah, grab your mother and the dog. Sparky, where are you? Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> Imagine how creepy that would be, it's just like um, walking about New York or whatever, having a voice box. Hey, you can have some money. Take my whole wallet, get away from me! Ah! Oh, we're gonna shout out to my, my friend in Canada, Morgan, who. Freeman? Was, yes. Thank fuck. I had dinner with Morgan Freeman in you Canada. You lucky bastard. I went, uh, Morgan Freeman came over to the house we were staying at because a mutual friend, the one I was staying with, uh, was working that day. He was driving on own. So Morgan Freeman comes over to the house. Or Morgan Spice comes over to the house and, and says, uh, Oh, do you want to hang out? Like, I'll just come around to mind making chill or whatever. I'm like, yeah, cool. So that was nice of him. But so shout out to them for that because that was super cool. So, um, just, when, just when you said the, 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 the dog with the voice box thing, their wee dog, a wee shelfie called Little, they had to get its um, cards. Uh, Cut thing needs its vocal cards, like tied or something. It's like a dog, so it basically can't bark anymore. Does it just go? <laughs> Well, it's a wee shelty, so it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I got the last bit for the beer stain. My nice. God, that that. So like, basically, uh, the other dog, we we were alone. Oh, well, was she was. Oh, she was so cute, honestly. Oh, but, no, um, um, she was uh, every time she barked, like someone came at the house. All you tear. Shit, yeah, fucking dirty slag. Oh. I just sold the beer stain because I thought I was. I missed the fucking treasure. So now I've got the treasure, and I don't have the fuck. Jesus God. I'm just gonna sell. I it. thought you were shouting at the ice cream van. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream! <laughs> but no, it's so we we will. Every time someone came at the door and she had something to bark at, they like, like, Dodger, your dog barks. Uh, Kayla barks, she's territorial. And, and, and I have to say, but she's just sort of, she just sort of like, gets down, not, not, gets up off the floor and kind of put her paddles to the door, and all you hear is just. Poor doggy. No, but apparently it's like. When she was barking at me, it was like unbearable. It's like she was a wee yappy dog, a little shelfie. Like that would get really annoying. So they ended up having to get her cut, get her cut tied. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's a shame for me, dog. Oh, that's a shame, but. Okay. We're going to end that episode there, everybody. Yep. I don't know, it's been a kind of weird episode, it's been a vet film, we've had fucking twins, and Ashley being dipshit, and funny stories. Yeah, that's fucking creepy guy. The vendor. Welcome! What are you buying? Oh, you can actually. There's a way, like, if I can stand next to the, the guy, it'll, like, zoom in the camera. What's he doing? What the Stop f- winching. Y- you fucking. Uh, it's happening! She's unbuttoning. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye! Ciao, Benny.